Hello friends and a heartfelt welcome to Fright Night Files. Let's continue Alone in the Dark playthrough. Last time I think the horror began to ramp up in the game. Right? But I can't really remember what were uh, what was the objective. Objectives. Okay, still have to replace the missing valve in the boiler room. But that's in the house. Right now we have to look for Jeremy inside the hateful mound. Beyond. Beyond? Yeah. Beyond the oil rig. So let's do just that. Why am I crawling around? Oh, I remember you. The crawler. Uh, I don't remember, did we? I think we died, yeah. There's just some things we have to do again here. I didn't watch my former... Uh, former episode, so I can't really remember what happened last time. It okay, looks like we haven't been here. Uh, what? Hey! Where the hell did you come from? Oh shit! That scared the shit out of me, man. Look now, I wasted all my bullets again. You son of a bitch. Can't remember how we... How do we drink? You know, to... Uh, to restore our health? I don't remember. <laughs> Let's see. Key binding. Consume. G. Okay. Let's try that. There we go. Uh, what a start to the game. <laughs> or this episode, I mean. That startled me. That, that F out of me. Is there no more? Is there nothing else in here? I guess not. Okay. Wait, where where do we go from here? the bell please dinner time why is there so much suspenseful music is something about to to happen here what hear a monster somewhere I'm stuck. Can't go that way. Okay. I think that's where we came from. Yeah? Let's be careful. There's no one in here. <laughs> Hello? Oh. There is a son of a bitch. Oh no! My bitch! All my bullets! I should have used the, the rocks. Or whatever it was. I need to find more drinks, that's what we need. I have no more. Ah, 
Ah, we have a drink. Party! I think we have to go that way. That's the oil rig, right? Hmm. No one in here. We got some of our bullets back. I can never have enough bullets. Oh, there's that underground crawler. Oh, run! I guess we can't sneak past it. Now it's right here. Oh, run! Run for it, run! Oh, come on. Turn on the flashlight. Can't see shit, man. V. What a weird keybind, yeah? For the flashlight. I hear more crawlers. Run! I don't want to deal with them. on fire man Zip line. Tough class. Awesome. Yeah, 
come on, Carby. Wouldn't you rather fall to your death than go up in flames? Okay, I guess we're safe. For now. Maybe not. What the F is that, man? Hello? I'm gonna die, right? Holy crap, man. Are you gonna eat me? Okay. Why didn't it eat me? Do I not look spicy enough? I'm hearing stuff in the, in the water, man. In the swamp. It's the hateful mound Jeremy talked about in his book. Hateful mound? Okay. This game is getting intense, man. Jeremy! Are you in here? Don't come any closer. I'm armed. That's Get not that Jeremy. thing out of my face. Who are you? What are you doing here? I'm just a detective trying to find something called Tarawea. What the F are you You're doing after here? Jeremy, too? Why? I'm working for his niece. She wants to make sure he's alright. He that might Jackson? be unharmed, but far from alright. He's a curse upon DeSeto. Here we go Sorry, Miss Jackson. Oh, I am for real. I'm still not spicy. No. Get away from me, man. Yeah, she's more spicy. Eat her. Back to reality. Oh, Christ. For another world. We are back. It was a bust. The oil rig and the hateful mound led him nowhere closer to finding Jeremy. Conby was sure he had struck gold when he found Jeremy's bag, but it was just a trap set by Lottie, that another Lottie girl. of DeSetto's orderlies. Things got out of hand real quick. But somehow, Conby managed to find his way back to DeSetto, none the wiser. At least it was one item off his list. Now, he had to figure out what to do with the boiler. Yeah. Did I ever find the decorative plate you know, for the boiler? I think so. Didn't we? Did we not? We also needed a... A key to the wine cellar, right? To find the well? I don't remember. I think so. Ooh. Yeah, oh. Take it. Okay, maybe there's something in the back. Hmm? Pellet knife. What are we, are we supposed to use that for? Reflections on the power of the verb in certain texts. Reflections on the power of the verb in certain texts by Juan Luis Jorge. To act is in itself divine, 
Even the slightest movement of our hand is evidence of our soul in motion. Yet our free will is so easily overwhelmed by the dullness of everyday life. Our actions become rote and rigid, in spite of luxury and comfort. True divinity is found in the choice of leaving the stage where we all perform. People who discover this freedom unexpectedly will be struck by the terror of this revelation and become paralyzed, or worse, turn to suicide. However, if you are able to weather that storm, you will discover that there is a divine path beyond that fear. There is a chance to dismount your destiny and make something new something that hasn't been planned for or predestined. There is difficulty in explaining this type of acting as it transcends our everyday choices. This isn't some banal decision choosing one career over the other, or even who I should marry. Leaving the stage, no matter how, isn't a matter of course correction. It's a rejection of the story that the creator is telling. Mm. Wise words. Sitting room key. Where's the sitting room? What is a sitting room? Is there something here called sitting room? It's an empty room. Oh, we can change floors. Here's the sitting room. Okay, that's upstairs. Let's find our way upstairs then. Ah, that's opposite from... Uh, from Jeremy's office, right? If I can find it again. It's wedged shut. That's what we used the pallet knife for. It worked. All right, then. That's very lucky we found one of those. Please be drinks in here. No. Damn it. Oh, there's that woman we met in the beginning. Detective Conby, how good of you to come. Let me pour you a drink. Yes, please. Most certainly need one. What happened here? This place looks like it was hit by a bomb. <laughs> Welcome to the madhouse, Detective. Sure Thanks. is. Did the ceiling just collapse? I heard it was something in the attic. Something that was supposed to happen, but didn't. How that could have such consequences is beyond me. The truth is, I don't know why the room looks like this. But I bet your friend Jeremy does. Yeah, but where is he? You know where I could find him? Oh, somewhere in his past, I suppose. He keeps going on about that mysterious dark man. I think he is hiding from him. Or maybe he's with him. I can't really keep up. Look how badly hurt we are. I don't worry <laughs> much. Take a look around this room. You may think it looks spectacularly devastated, but I just think it's finally found its stride. You think? It fits perfectly with the state of this place and its loonies. The same goes for the nonsense with Jeremy. In my eyes, we finally managed to match the wild ride inside all of us. Well, I'm happy you find the evening so harmonious. I uh, hope you don't mind me setting things right. Jeremy's business, that is. This room looks beyond my capabilities. Good luck, detective. Hope to see you again soon. Uh-huh. Evening, miss. Okay, maybe it doesn't look like we're getting closer to the truth. Ruth seemed like a handful. 
Her talk about Jeremy and the dark man made it sound like she might know something of importance. But ultimately, it felt like a dead end. Definitely did. Most certainly did they do. Drinks, please. Hell yeah. Bayonet. Whatever that is. Okay. Now where are we going? Had to find the sitting room, right? Okay. Here. Then we turn left. Left, 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 all the way. Let's check out these other rooms first. We need drinks. And we need bullets. A hell a lot of them. Oh, we have we have already been here. Then let's just go straight to the sitting room then. Must be in here, right? Sitting room key. Sure is. There's something missing. Yeah, it's a piece missing. Why can I choose this tool? This must be that kid's room. Why does she seem so familiar? I don't know. Small request. Don't you worry, Grace. Go play your game, bleat and bellow with the others. I won't be jealous. There will be more masquerades. However, I would love it if you would finish my mask for the feast. With love, Ruth. Mm -hmm. Ruth is that woman we just talked to, right? And Grace is that little girl. Huh. Peekaboo. Okay. Not much in here. There, there she is. Little Grace. <laughs> Look how beat up he is. Man. <laughs> what you got there? You drawing something? Nothing special. I'm just bored. Do I know you from somewhere? I remember you, Mr. Conby. You do? From where? Don't touch that. Cassandra wouldn't like it. She wouldn't like it at all. Who's Cassandra? Do you know where she is? I'd rather remember. not talk about it. It makes me upset. Besides, she'll be back after the Feast of St. John. You think? Yep. It's all on the page, Mr. Conby. And many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake, some to everlasting life, and some to shame and everlasting contempt. There's an actor in her. All right. I'm gonna go now, if that's okay. I don't like to stay too long in the same place. Mr. McCarthy might find me. Hey. Who's Mr. McCarthy? Does he mean to you? <laughs> Not everyone needs to be saved, Mr. Conby. 
You should know that by now. Okay. Why did that girl look so familiar? I don't know. Detective Comby just couldn't quite remember. His last few years were clouded by a drunken haze. A haze which now had turned almost opaque. Considering their shared past, Grace had every right to feel slighted. But it wasn't in her nature. She was amused. So this is where Cassandra Beauregard ended up. For some reason, I thought she died years ago. If I find the full set of bottles, then maybe I can make something out of the stains of rot. Maybe. Let's find them. I think them I have everything I need. Miss Beauregard, I picked up your medicine at the post office today. As you understand, it needs to be administered by the orderlies for your safety. I have put the box in Lottie's room for now, and I'm sure she will find you as soon as possible. Mr. Waits. Guess we'll find those missing bottles in Lottie's room. But where is Lottie's room? Not here. Is the attic? Okay, it's downstairs. We have to go there and find those <coughs> missing medicine bottles. I think one of them is here, maybe. Yes, no, maybe. Yeah. Then I guess the last one in, is in Lottie's room. I don't think I have everything I need. It's another one of those strange Oh problems. no. Come on. Probably have to uh, get the last bottle first, yeah? To get the combination. Let's go down to Lottie's room. If we have the key. I don't think we do. Do we need a key? Okay, we just have to... Go north. But which way is north? <laughs> This way, right? Yeah. <sighs> Almost there. This must be Lottie's room, right? That's why we have to open this one. Locked medicine box, of course. <coughs> but as always, we need an effing key. Damn it! Where's the key? And are we still not allowed in here? <laughs> oh, it wasn't here. To find the key for the medicine box. Feel like we have been everywhere, right? It's stained. Yeah. Looks like some kind of rot. Still don't have it. You no, 
no key in here. We don't have the lever either. Or the broken valve. Hmm. Oh, was here, she, she got so angry, yeah. <laughs> Gotta find the key to my heart. I need the key. Yeah, of course. I need a boatload of keys. If only we could find the janitor's keys, you know, the keychain. I think this video has gone on for long enough, don't you think? If you liked the video, please leave a like and subscribe. Until next time, bye bye.